Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's been a while since I've kind of shown my face, so hey. <laughs> um, this video is going to be a haul of stuff that I've gotten probably since like November. I have actually purchased more things, but I'm not going to show them to you guys because they're going to be potential prizes, so yeah. Um, I will try, I don't know, I'll just do this in whatever order I feel like it. So, okay, well, let's start with some Sally Hansen Extreme Wear polishes. I got two more. I got Pacific Blue, and that looks really purple on the screen. And there will be photos at the end, and eventually I will post this all on my blog. I'll put a link to my blog um, in the underbar, because you're probably want, gonna wanna be a follower pretty soon. Um, so you may as well just follow me now. <laughs> um, so this is Pacific Blue. It's a nice creamy sort of bluish periwinkle sort of color. And if you guys are curious on my nails, I did a little sort of fading thing because um, it was going to match a belt that I wore yesterday at this formal dinner awards thing. So yeah, I'm taking it off pretty soon, but whatever. And I also got Shooting Star, which is a glittery bluish greenish purple. I think this one's probably pretty sheer, but it's got the chunky glitters in it, so. Anyway, because I felt like I didn't have enough blue Sally Hansen colors, and I saw these, and I'm like, oh, I don't have them. Okay, let's get them. And have you guys noticed, okay, for those of you who are in Canada, I originally got my Sally Hansen Extreme Wear polishes at Shoppers Drug Mart for like two bucks, like $1.99. Now they're like $5.50. It is insane. So I got these at Walmart. They were still like under $2, but... That was kind of shocking. I mean, not really shocking because the nail polish trend is really starting to pick up, but like, come on, people. Okay, what else did I get? I got two Essie nail polishes. These were from the holiday collection, I think, both of them. I've got Going Incognito, which I used in my Delicate Green Dots tutorial, which is a nice creamy, kind of a dark jade color. I wonder if it's maybe sort of close to Jade is the New Black by OPI's Hong Kong collection. I'm not sure. And then I've got Silken Cord, which is this really gorgeous red. Um, it's got a bit of an orange undertone in it, which is probably what it's what I see on the camera right now. I don't know if it's what you see, but um, again, photos at the end. <laughs> and yeah, I tried wearing it once, I think. I ended up taking it off because it wasn't really what I wanted to wear that day, but um, it applies really nicely for Essie because I don't really like Essie's formula in general, but it applied... Yeah, just really nice, but it did stain my nails, so I wasn't a big fan of that part. And then I got two Gosh nail polishes because they were on sale at Choppers for like a dollar or three dollars. So I've got Nero, which is just a nice creamy black, and this, I haven't tried the red one yet, but so far I'm super impressed with Gosh nail polishes. This applied like a dream, a dream, oh my gosh, and I think I liked the brush too. Hang on, let me double check. Um, ah, uh, the brush is nothing special. It's pretty, it's a small one, but I think it's nice and soft. So, so Nero is the black one. And then I also have 60 in, by gosh, it's similar to Silken Cord, but this one definitely has a deeper red tone and that one's definitely a little more orangey. But I haven't tried that one yet. I will let you know how it goes. And I've also recently got a bunch of Orly polishes because I'd never had Orly before because it's not really easy for me to get a hold of. Um, so I got this one over the holidays ish, sort of. It's called Goth and it's a black with silver sparkle in it. It's really pretty. It's kind of like night sky ish. But yeah. And so far, so far, so good with Orly. It's a little more expensive than China Glaze, but. I'm not really a fan of China Glaze, their formula, because it's just not flexible enough for my nails, because my nails bend, and then the nail polish ends up cracking, and you get this horrific looking like, oh, well, my nails are dry, and it's like crackling sort of look, uh, which is why I prefer OPI, because it's more flexible. Okay, and then I also got three more Orly polishes recently. This one's called 54. I have no idea if it's in their regular collection or not. It is really, 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 really sheer. I'm actually wearing it on my 
I'm wearing it on this thumb and you can't tell the difference at all. But yeah, um, it is a, it's a pink with like a darker pink duochrome and it's a really, really, really sheer shimmer. So it'd mostly be used just for top coat if I wanted like really natural nails. And that one's called 54. And I also got Orly Platinum, which is just a nice sort of opalescent white, but it doesn't have that sort of purpley, pinky, greeny duochrome that a lot of opaly whites have. So I really liked that because it was just white. There were no other colors in here, but it's still got a nice opaly finish. <laughs> and I also got Rage which is from a, one of their foil collections or whatever it's called. And this is the sort of coppery one. It's like a rose, rose goldish color. And it's super foil-tastic. And yeah, so that was good. And another, well, I guess I'll go on to the collections. Recently, um, Winners has been having a lot of Nail polish. Well, the, this one location I go to, they have a lot of nail polish, which is awesome. And they have like the whole, um, the whole collection. They only have it in one brand that I've never tried before, but I've heard good things about, which is Color Club. And so I picked up several. And um, yeah, so the first one I got is Untamed Luxury, and it's still in the container. And all right, I'm going to assume that this is how the colors go. So we've got Soft as Cashmere, I'm assuming, Jewel of a Girl, Wild Orchid, Snakeskin, Red Velvet, Untamed Luxury, and Ready to Royal. Um, I'm not going to do a video reviewing these, but I will put a link in the underbar because I know Bina Bop also got like the exact same thing and she did a complete review on all of the polishes with swatches and everything. So, yeah, and you'll probably see these showing up in some tutorials or something like that, so. But yeah, so that's my first, my first collection that I got from Color Cloud at Winners. And yeah, this entire thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what? seven polishes, and guess how much it was? It was like 15 bucks. It was awesome, I was so excited. And I've never tried Color Club and I really wanted to, so yay. Okay, and the next thing I got from Color Club, the entire collection for the same price, um, is called Glitter Vixen. And guess what it looks like? Yeah, they're all glitters. So we have, assuming I have Sex Symbol, Magic Attraction, Sultry Diva, Art of Seduction, that one makes sense, Sexy Siren, Object of Envy, and True Passion. And they're all glitters. Um, they're all single colored glitters. I think they appear to be suspended in clear polish, except for this one, which is, uh, which one's this? Magic Attraction has like, um, it kind of reminds me of the same color spectrum as Mad as a Hatter, but the glitters are a lot smaller. So we've got like a holographic glitter in here. We've got the one that's like greenish and reddish and purplish and silverish. Yeah, and it's got the overall colors kind of purpley. Again, photos at the end, I promise. <laughs> and the last nail polish collection that I got from Color Club is I'm really excited about this because I had a request to do like a punky nail design with neon colors but I'm like I don't have neon colors so you're gonna have to wait and I am gonna hopefully be doing for the next couple weeks Valentine's Day tutorials and then after that I'll get back to my regular tutorials um yeah so I got Poptastic which are neon most well kind of neon ish oh wait it wasn't 15 bucks. It was 13 bucks. Sweet. So yeah. Uh, so we have Almost Famous, Wham Pow, Poptastic, Warhol, what does that say? Hoochilicious, Twiggy, and Chelsea Girl. 
These are all creams and I personally really, really love that one, that one, and that one. But we'll see how they apply. I haven't actually opened any of these up, so I haven't even looked at the brushes or, you know, checked out the consistency and the formula and stuff, but um, we shall see. And the last thing I got is not, actually, or the last two things I got were not actually nail polish, but kind of things to help me with my videos. So I got a new nail art brush and it came in this package. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. I think it was about five bucks or so. And it's called Nail Art Brush. That's it, by Winning Nails. And it is super, 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 super skinny. Like, it's really tiny. My other skinniest brush was this black one. And let's compare, like, this new one is half as thick as my old one. And it's probably, yeah, it's about the same thickness as my striper brush, but it's a lot skinnier. So it'll give me a lot of control if I want to do, I've had a lot of requests to do kind of more realistic things and I'm not really good at that, but I think this brush might help. We'll see, I'm not really a realistic sort of artist. Even when I like paint for fun, I never draw real stuff. I always do abstract. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll see. And the other last thing is, I think I did mention a while ago that because of work, I can't wear like crazy nail polish, nail art to work. So I was, that's why a lot of them have been done on nail tips lately. And, um, to help me with that, so I don't have to show you guys it on a, like a nail tip that's been glued to a, like a skewer, cause that's just not very realistic and it's hard for you guys to visualize. Um, I did get a practice hand and it's not too bad this is what it looks like it's kind of orangey which is a little weird I got this on eBay you can look up there are a bazillion sellers out there who will sell these and I put some nails on there I'm gonna I'm probably only gonna do like these three nails kind of like three Tanya J who gave me some advice on using these using the practice hand so shout out to her if you guys don't follow her and you love nail art, you need to check her out. She does nail art for both long nails and short nails. And yeah, she's just amazing, like amazing. <laughs> so um, again, I will link her in the underbar as well. So uh, it's three Tanya J three. So, so you will be seeing a lot of tutorials, especially the really out there ones on here. Otherwise the really simple ones that I can maybe get away to get away at with with wearing at work then I will um, do those on my own hands or I'll do them and then I'll you know immediately take them off but it just feels like such a waste because then I don't even have any like like recol not recollection but I don't have any anything to prove that I did it because I just removed it immediately so um, and then with that practice hand I got a bunch of um, practice fingers as well which I I don't know I think these things are so creepy um, but yeah, and then the nail just fits right in there and I mean, it doesn't look too bad right now, but like, look at that. It's got a ugly seam down the middle and the wrinkles and it's just, ew, and the fingers doing, <laughs> so, um, unless I really want to do just one nail, I will probably use this. I don't really want to, although it holds the nail really nicely, but, um, they're kind of creepy, I think. But if you guys don't mind, then hey, awesome. I'll, I'll do single nail designs on these guys and then, you know, three nails because the pinky and the thumb are, this is going to be the same as I drop it. I'll do the full nail, the three nail designs on the hand and then just single nail designs on the fingers. So, and oh, when I got those, I got a little, uh, I got a little teeny sampler of some Fimo slices, which I'm considering getting, but honestly... I'm not sure. It, it's going to depend because I won't wear these personally, so it'd only be for my YouTube channel videos. And I don't know. It, you can't, you're, you're always buying the Fimo canes, like in a full cane, and that's just way too much Fimo for me. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It was. I was trying to do, to like not buy nail polish 
and I obviously have failed. <laughs> um, and now the new OPI Katy Perry collection is out, and I almost went to, to Sally's or to Chatters to like check it out, but I didn't. Good for me. Um, sorry, don't pay attention to the mess back there. Um, other than that, hope everyone's doing really good. I had a really good weekend. And my birthday's coming up soon, so it should be fun. And also, big thanks to all of my new subscribers. I'm over 3,000 vi 3, videos, 3,000 subscribers. So, wow. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and, of course, all of my old subscribers for um, watching and liking all my videos. Um, really appreciate all the support. I... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like 3,000 subscribers, that's awesome. And if you have any requests, just leave them on my channel or on a video. I, I, write, I do write most of them down. I don't necessarily do all of them. I try, but sometimes I just don't want to do a certain design or... Um, I did get a request to do pedicures and I don't really want to show my feet, you guys. Sorry, so... Um, but pedicures are the same thing as manicures. It's just your nails are shorter, and your thumb, your toenail, your your thumb toenail, your big toe is just like more of a square, a boxy square, than a longer rectangle. So, any any nail design that you can do on your fingers, you can do on your toes. You just either need to squish it down, or you need to just choose a part of it that you want to do on your toe. So. Yeah, so no pedicures for my channel. Sorry, guys. Unless there's like a practice pedicure foot out there that someone wants to let me know about, then maybe I'll do a pedicure video on a practice foot. <laughs> but um, yeah, otherwise, no. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you guys are doing good, and I will see you in my next tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.